Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to increase your FPS in the Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, for this game, you can find um, some stuff to tweak in the config file. It's pretty much the same than the game, so I don't have a special trick that you can use to improve your FPS. But honestly, the game is well optimized, so uh, I will show tricks and tips for people who have a low-end or maybe a mid-end uh, old, very old computer. And uh, we'll try to explain the best that I can. So first of all, uh, display mode. This one, depending on whatever you need to do, if you have to be a full screen or fake full screen. Fake full screen is like more or less, so when you alt tab, your game doesn't go down. So kind of uh, cool to know <laughs> if you stream or you like to alt tab when you play a game. V-Sync, this one, put it at off. And you also, you can put a frame cap if you want. Me, I just do unlimited so I can go on 135 or whatever. But if you want, you can frame cap and put some FPS if you want. Uh, some people are doing it because they have some trouble with uh, eat in the, with their video card or even in the tower itself. So yeah, it's something that you can do in the game. Now, let's see for graphic. Model quality, this one, if you change it, you will have a small gain. So maybe 2 to 3 FPS or 1 to 2 FPS uh, for each bracket. So this one is not a big one. Texture is more related with your VRAM on your card. So if you have more than 2 or 3 gig, you're all right to play 1080p easily at I. So this one is not a problem. Texture filtering, this one, uh, you can do some tests. Uh, my AMD card has some issue with the game. But now it seems to be fixed. So uh, test between uh, 8 and 4 if you have a low end. If you have a mid-range computer or high range, just put 16. Now, first of all, shadow, very important. This one, if you just remove shadow in the game, you will uh, gain like 9 to 12 FPS depending on your rig. Maybe less too if you have a pretty good rig. But uh, this one is very important. Uh, shadow the game needs to render it each time you move and this object is moving in the game so this one is really uh, important for me shadow is not something important in a game so it's pretty cool that you can just remove it because sometimes some games are just asking you if you want to put it at low but you still have shadow this one if you, you can remove it if you want really cool Lighting quality, same thing. This one uh, it can take some resources on, on your computer. So if for each bracket, you will gain 3 to 4 FPS. Again, depending on your video card. So this one, you can test it for sure. It's uh, You will have some impact in your FPS. Uh, Anti-aliasing. I always uh, say to people, use FXAA if you have a low end. Because for me... If if you don't have anti-aliasing, the game looks like crap. You really need one. And FXAA do a... How can I say that? Like a basic job. So just use FXAA and you will be good. After that, ambient inclusion and depth of field. I didn't see big improvement over there. 1 to 2 FPS for each one. But the biggest one is the God Ray here. You can gain 4 to 6 FPS depending where you are in the map. Uh, this one with all the trees and the lights going inside of the trees, you can gain a lot of FPS when you remove it. And I remove motion blur because I don't like the effect itself. Uh, I saw maybe some 1 FPS improvement, sometimes it's 0, it's maybe a placebo effect. So uh, yeah, I just remove it. So that's about it guys, if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM, and I will try to help the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.